Okay, I understand what's going on now. It's really pretty shocking and it's going to take a lot of explanation. We first have to go back. There's, there's a whole nother story to tell about the metering here in the first 18 verses. Okay? I'm trying to leave that out. That sum is 560 syllables, which is, of course, very clearly playing on Daniel 9, but more importantly, playing on Genesis 1, because that the same meter is used in Genesis 1 for Jacob, um, and I'll have to cover that at some later time. It's very sophisticated. Um, so I'm leaving that aside for now. What we're going to cover instead is the second paragraph from 19 all the way down and it, it's it's so sophisticated that it's going to take some doing here okay look at 19 just read the text because I've got to go to the other computer to get the point that I want to make just hold on okay there are 119 syllables, which is also playing on Isaiah and Daniel and Moses in Genesis 1, because that was Moses' age when he wrote Genesis 1. Th that's going down to here, to verse 22. Yeah. Sorry, I have to walk between computers. That text, and I'll just... You know, let's see, I'll give it a highlight. How do you do this? I forget. Tools, viewing the text. It's so screwed up now, the way they do this. Apply color to, let's give it a different color. Um, I don't know. Define custom colors. Give it a light green. They make it so complicated now. All right. And then close, I guess. Is it going to change? No, it didn't. See, the, oh, I hate this new system. Why didn't they just keep what worked? No. Why didn't they just keep what worked before? Okay, let's see if I can get this to do it the, to do it the right way again. Which, you know, takes me off what I was going to say. Apply colors to selected text. Oh, you have to click on this button now. They make it so complicated. All right, go. All right. That is 119 syllables. Just through verse 22, not through verse 23. Okay? That's 119 syllables. It's a play on Isaiah. It's a play on Genesis 1 because the date line in Genesis 1... The second date line is 119 from Moses' age at the time he's writing it. So you are supposed to understand that Christ is referencing Genesis 1 and Isaiah 53 at the same time when he's giving you those verses. He's metering when he talks. And he's expecting you to know that. That's how well they used to know Bible. And of course, we don't know Bible now. You know, God is persona non grata now. And everybody's apostate now, being pro-life instead of pro-God. Aborting the word of God. But, you know, telling themselves how moral they are for, you know, getting all hot and bothered over DNA, which is just dust of the ground, like God told you in Genesis 2-7. But it, I digress. Woe to those who are pregnant, yes, pregnant and aborting the word of God, and not learning that, hi, these are 119 syllables. 119 syllables in Greek. That people who were listening to him talk, we're going to know, because he's metering as he talks, just like Daniel did in Daniel 9, which this plays back to, because Daniel is tagging. Isaiah and Psalm 90 at the same time while he talks in his prayer, which is the lead up to what I'm going to say here. That's 119 syllables. Now, the next point, and we'll have to do something, goes from here 
I think to here. Let me check. Yeah, that's right. But let me do it the right way because of the stupid convoluted system. All right. Tools, viewing text, apply colors to selected text. And now we got to change the color to what? Something light blue, I think. And we'll turn it into blue and make it really light which they should have allowed me to do so I could just use the highlight that way but oh no okay and then apply see the, all these extra steps and then you have to close alright so now this next bit is 168 syllables that's 284 84 being the brackets of the decree of Christ, decree of the temple. You know, it's used a lot. Peter even uses it. It's used even in the New Testament. So that's 168 plus 119. You got that? Now we have our third block, which I believe is 29 to 31. And how many syllables is that? This is our third block, and it's 189 syllables. And again, we're going to color it, viewing the text. Apply colors to selected text. And let's see, we'll use orange. Much lighter. Apply. Looks pink, unfortunately. Okay, that's 189 syllables. So now we're going to take Mr. Calculator and hopefully it'll show up properly. We got 119 in green plus 168 in blue plus 189 in pink. That's 476. You see that, right? Now look. See this? 476 in Daniel. Daniel used the 476 because he's leaving out 14 of the, the years that Israel was over budget. That's the basis of his prayers, that Israel's short on time. She, was, she had lost 14 years by the time the temple went down. And in his petition for it to be restored, and you'll notice he's using 42 here and 42 here as bookends. In Daniel 9, 14 is when his... Um, as it were, the indictment paragraph, uh, you know, legal paragraph of what he's saying, and it's at 476 because there are 14 more years that Israel is over budget relative to the time allotment that she was given, and he's basically praying at the start of his own 70th year of captivity, basically saying, hi, my own 70 is up, just like I was. it was supposed to be, because he's the poster boy for the 70 years. So now he's praying for the restoration of the temple because it's 49 years was up. 42 is the number of growth. 49, of course, was here. And that's how he started his prayer, which was up here in the 49th year of the temple being down. Okay. So the net, he's playing with the math while he talks. And when he gets to this point at the end of his indictment section of his prayer, which is Daniel 9:14. He's 14 years shy. Okay. He's basically saying, Hi God, I know that we're 14 years over budget. I'm asking for the total restoration of time. But I don't know how you feel about that. Here's my argument. And here's the end of the indictment. And then the actual petition is going to begin in Daniel 9.15. And you can read all this. It's very extensive. The proof of the meter is overwhelming in Daniel. Okay, and you can find this, you know, you'll, you'll be able to find this on, um, in the video description. I did a whole channel on it in Vimeo. This is really awesome stuff. 
It's 30 pages long to show the documentation on how Daniel's meter actually works. I'm just summarizing it right now because it's a very sophisticated meter. Okay, he is quoting and using whole books of the Bible when he talks in his prayer. It's the most sophisticated prayer I know of in the Bible. Except perhaps what the Lord is saying in Matthew 24. The Lord is obviously using this 476 and expects the reader to know it. Because, as I just showed you, the green here, the blue here, and the pink here all add up to the same 476. And at the time the Lord is speaking, he's basically warning the people listening to him, Hi, I'm going to die seven years early. That's the first of the 14. Okay, and the temple is going to be taken out during the extra seven years that I'm dying early. Plus, you still have the tribulation, which is the second seven. So we got to hang in Chad seven because the Lord dies seven years early. And he's warning them that the very same thing he's talking about, because it's all about temple down and tribulation, is exactly parallel to what Daniel was talking about. Okay, so you can't miss what he's saying. You can't miss what the Lord means because he's essentially tagging Daniel when he uses this meter and he's expecting you to know. So the green plus the blue plus the pink, all right, is a tag of Daniel. When he talks, he's metering, but that's not all. In case you missed that, he does it again, tagging Daniel, but in a different number this time. Okay, let me show you what, how that works. Remember verses 32 through 35? These were 126 syllables. Okay? So now we're going to apply different colors to it. And let's see, this time, I don't know what we're going to do. Um, that was supposed to be orange. We'll do that, okay? It's not it's not changing. Why isn't it changing? It's supposed to change. Well then let's use um oh bloody. Can I do a light brown? I'll just have to do that one. Let's see if that works. Apply the colors. Well that's not too it, it, they're too much alike here. I should have separated them better, but you can see that there's some color difference. That's 126 syllables. Okay, the orange is 126 syllables. Now, we already did the yellow at 308, so now watch this, because this will be a number you recognize. 1, 2, 6, plus 308. Whoops, damn it. Oh. Okay, one, two, six, plus three, oh, eight. Ding, 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 ding. You remember 62 weeks? You remember Daniel 9, 24 through 27 in the 62 weeks? Well, the Lord sure obviously does, and he's combining verses 32 through 44 in two discernible meter sets to sum up to the 62 weeks in Daniel 9. So he's wrapping in Noah, that's Genesis 6, Genesis 7 and 8, therefore also Genesis 1, therefore also Isaiah 53, therefore also Daniel 9. To show he's the fulfillment of it, just like Daniel 9 says. Okay? Now, that's really important because that's the exact same meter, not only in Daniel 9 explicit text, but Daniel himself used the 434 right here. See? Here's the 434. He's closing his bookend of the 49 years since Temple Fall, his dateline for when he prays. He's first using 434. He's still stating the 
problem of the temple being down due to Manasseh. He's doing his datelines based on Manasseh. He's tagging Isaiah 53 at syllable 252 in order to balance the time books. But this is where the 62 weeks in God's reply is coming from. And Christ knows that. And we don't know that, but we know the 62 weeks is in Daniel 9, 27, 24 through 27 in God's reply. But we don't seem to know what it means. Why? Because we don't know the meter. Why? Because we spit on the Bible instead of actually studying it. You see the importance of knowing the meter? How it aids hermeneutics? People have debated the meaning of Matthew 24 for centuries. But look at how clear it is now, even color-coded. 434, the sum of the orange and the yellow. So there's no doubt as to what Christ is talking about. And he's basically cross-referencing Genesis 7, Genesis 8, Genesis 1, Daniel 9, Isaiah 53, Psalm 90. When... He talks as he talks with the meter as a cross-reference concordance which means that the people listening to him understood this so why don't we think about it 